Mr. Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1490, worksheet name in cell. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. We kind of have a theme going on this week. Started out on uh, Monday uh, replicating one worksheet into 31 worksheets, and then yesterday how to rename all those. Well, now I'd like to go one step further, uh, and I would like to be able to use the worksheet name in a formula so that way I can fill in that date somehow. Now, this is always tough for me, so I, I, I'm going to start out here. Is it equal info? No, it's equal cell. Equal cell. And I want the file name. Now, by the way, this only works if you've saved the file. If the file is still up here with book one or book two like that, this doesn't return anything. And it's very important that you include that optional reference. I'm just going to refer to the current cell G1. If you don't do that, uh, this is not going to work. So, what we get is we get the complete path file name and, check this out, the worksheet name. So, uh, you're always looking for that right square bracket right there, equal find the, in quotes, the right square bracket of that value and that says that uh, the first 43 characters are not the sheet name, everything after that is the sheet name. Now, in this particular case, I just want to use that one. So. Uh, I'm going to say that I want to go one, two, three, four, five characters over from there. So I'm going to add plus five, and I'm going to need either one or two. So equal mid of this value, comma starting there, comma two, will get us a one. And if we did the same thing on the tenth or eleventh, they would get us the two-digit number. So now that I have that, uh, here is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the date of 2000. It's 2011. Ha! Huh, had to think about that. 12, comma that day, and I'm betting, I'm betting that I, I'm going to have to say plus zero to convert this text up here into a number. All right, so there's our 12, 1, 2011. Beautiful thing is that as we copy this to day two, day three, day four, it will automatically update. So we are using this cool cell function to get the complete path and file name. Don't care about that, but the worksheet name, then using mid, or find to figure out where the uh, worksheet name starts, then using mid to get just the piece of the worksheet name that we want, and then finally using that all in a formula. Now, it is not necessary to include all four steps here. We can do this all in one big step. So I take uh, the G3, I go up, F2 to put it in edit mode, and then copy everything except for the equal sign, and select G3 here, and paste Control V. All right, so now I need to go get. G2, G2 is all of this except for the equal sign. And right here, select the characters G2, Control V to paste. Now I have G1 left and I have it in two different places. All right, good enough. Go up here and choose this formula except for the equal sign. And let's see, first here, G1, Control V. And here, G1. Control V. All right, now that's final G1. That actually should be G4 because again I'm referring to the current cell, and that's just uh, that reference. If you don't put that reference in, it's funny that cell gives you the answer for the last cell that you changed. And if that last cell you changed is on another worksheet, then uh, just chaos ensues. Chaos ensues. So, all right, so there's my formula. I'm going to copy that whole formula. Uh, Control C and come back here to where I want it to be. The date. Put an equal sign. All right, so there's our formula. Now, let's just do a little test. We will, first off, delete all this stuff over here. Copy that formula. I'm going to do Control Page Down. Now, you see I'm on Day 2. Paste that in there. Ah, it's gorgeous. So, we're actually looking at the sheet worksheet name, getting the, uh, basically, the fifth and sixth characters of the worksheet name, plugging that in the date cell to generate the current date. I have to copy this to all 31. Easy way to do that, I'm sitting here on day two. I'm going to press the uh, this icon to go to the last sheet, hold down shift, and click day 31. I'm now put it in group mode. I have every sheet from day two to day 31 selected, and I'm looking at day two. Put this in edit mode, and then press enter to enter that formula in all of the cells of the group. So I'm going to right click on group, and we'll come back here. We'll just check it. Yeah, look at that. It copied the formula all the way across, and the formula is working perfectly. All right, so we started out Monday with, hey, how do I make a copy of these 31 sheets? And I've been going on and on and on and on. Uh, sorry about that, but some good tricks here. I love this one. Uh, very cool way to go.
Okay, well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast. Thanks, Curtis.